Snow Leopard. Hi guys, what is up? It is me, the Yellow Penguin. And Mac West Snow Leopard, right? I'm pretty sure everyone has at least used it once in life, at least heard of it. It's me when I was in school, it's what they have in all our computer lab computers. Um, and here it is right here. Now, in this video, let me try out a special DMG. It might not even be special, but we'll see. You might remember from my, from another video I did recently, back in December, about the $9 iMac, where that actually had a little copy of Snow Leopard installed from Newtorrent. Okay, that's boring, right? But the difference is that in that video, there was a, li there was a little text document that claims that it was from a pre-release like that. I don't know. So, what better news than to, well, install it on a Mac? So, I already imaged it, and I have it right here. So, without further ado, let's try installing it, because why not? What could go wrong? Plug it in. Good old chime. Let's try installing it. Oh. Well, that's not gonna work now, is it? Well... It's okay. Oh my god. It's okay. The 2006 iMac from that video will save us. Which is also where we actually found it. But let's try to boot it this time. Let's try it this time. Maybe this time we'll have better luck. Okay, it booted. That's already better than the uh, than the MacBook Pro could handle, probably because it's from like the first version of Snow Leopard. Right. To set this Snow Leopard, press continue. Okay. We agree. We're gonna install it on the hard drive. Although I think I do want to erase the disk. Make sure it's the right one. I hope I didn't erase the actual Macintosh HD right there, because that would not be. Okay, it finished. So, we're gonna go to EHD, so we're gonna customize the installation a bit, just so, like, we're not gonna get any printer or any fonts, no language translations, just to free up the storage. We will keep X11, Wild Rosetta, and Quick Time 7. Actually, yeah, we'll keep these. It's not, it's only 8 gigs, so. You can technically install some flash drive, but I, I have done that in the past, but I'm not gonna be doing that today. So, alright. Let's just install it. I don't know if it actually tell me the version from here. No, it does not. What it would be. Let's open up one of the installer log as well, just so we can just take a look at all that while we do this. So, let's go ahead and just let it install. We'll go to the time lapse. There's a garbage truck outside, but it finished. I'm gonna have to hope that it's booting from that because, yeah. And this is gonna play the welcome video, but I have no way to mute it because this is like a cheapo Lenovo keyboard that has like no actual control on it besides the bare minimum. So that would be great. Okay, and installed. So that's the good news. We'll just go through the setup real quick, keep that nice and simple. Although, who has internet? No thank you. We don't need passwords. Who needs security? It's 2024. Who needs security? Well, I guess it's 2025, but still. Oh boy. That looks perfect. Hey, let's go to the desktop. 
And here we're not going to identify. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? It's okay. Well, that explains why I did not want to run on the other MacBook. It's the original. It's literally just 10.6. Point out. I guess that makes sense on why I wouldn't want to install anything, but like nothing on here. So I guess it, it worked technically what we wanted it to do. It's here. I don't see anything unusual either. It looks like it's just standard. I guess it's just like the first version of um, 10.6, so the first edition of Snow Leopard on OS 10. A little boring. But I'm not anticlimactic, especially because I'm like, is this really beginning? I don't know if it's open source or not, or what this is. Although, we will update it. We will go that route. But I don't trust being on my actual internet, so I'm just gonna call it a mobile hotspot. Alright, that's on the internet. I trust I trust that online more than I trust anything else. And this like Safari 4. Really old version of Safari. We're online. Yay, found software. Alright, iLife support. Airport utility, Mac OS update. Look at this thing's up to like 10.6.8. iTunes. Internet desktop. Okay, we are going to Okay, we're gonna, I guess we'll do all of these even though I technically don't need to, but we're gonna do all of these. Which might take a while, especially over my mobile hotspot. Actually, it's not terrible per se. I'm not gonna time lapse it, we're just gonna come back to when it finishes. Hopefully I won't get an angry email from my The back was in sleep, but I had to reset to install the update. And now, we're installing the update. So, Okay, now we're on 10.6.8 as you can see. It installed an older version of that's okay, it doesn't really matter. But right now the latest version of 10.6 that theoretically will now run on my other MacBook Pro. Now I will say a little disappointing, probably, but there's nothing special on it. Still wonder what that text document is about, which I'll screen showed up here, if it wasn't there before anyway. But it's still interesting that that document is there along with the actual installer. I'm guessing that this computer ship will never, whoever got the computer before I did at the store, installed Leopard on it, or it had Leopard for some reason, and then used that to get Snow Leopard. Although you could have bought it from Apple, but whatever. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you have any feedback, leave it in the comments, especially with my new microphone I'm using. If you want to check out my social media, links are in the description. If you want to subscribe to see more videos, then click the little button below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.